please tell us your name and charity. I'm Kelly Quay. I am the Children's Activity Coordinator for Manx Mencap. How did the charity start and what is its purpose? Manx Mencap was established in 1968 uh, with the goal of supporting people with learning disabilities. Tell us about your team. We are a small charity with five directors, a secretary and a steadily expanding workforce. Uh, we are mostly parents to children and adults with learning disabilities, so we use our lived experience to inform the work we do. Um, we see the challenges firsthand. We experience the inequities that exist at every turn, um, but we're also in a unique position to see the beauty that exists within our community. And it's this which in turn drives our passion and commitment to doing the very best that we can for this vibrant and diverse population. Who is the charity for? Manx Mencap is aimed at supporting individuals with learning disabilities, both children and adults. But by extension, that very much includes their family, um, so siblings, parents, guardians and caregivers. We are a small but very accepting community. Which other organisations do you work with? We have many well-established partnerships which are critical and we simply couldn't do what we do without them. We partner with Art Adventures, Autism in Man, the Family Library, Isle of Play, Jerby and Northern Community Initiatives, Manx Carriage Driving for the Disabled, Parasize, Pause for Therapy, Sailing for the Disabled, Singing Joe, Soundology and Tiny Hooves Therapy. And we also partner with Disability Awareness and probably many more I can't remember. We also work alongside government agencies to ensure the needs of our community remain at the forefront of decision making. And we have a fabulous relationship with the Isle of Man Arts Council and the Villa Gaiety, who have extended their subsidised ticket scheme to our families for multiple shows. So not only removing the financial barriers, but giving families the confidence to try something new and access the arts. What are your main goals? Our goals are to ensure that the most basic needs of our community are being met. So we support a community of people with learning disabilities. Um, that means that our work extends across multiple domains, so health, education, employment, housing, and all that goes with being part of a community. Um, we strive to empower the community individually and collectively. We partner with others to advocate for the needs of the community and we aim to improve health outcomes and reduce social isolation for individuals and their carers. How do you see the charity developing over the next five years? Uh, we want to ensure that um, the community has access to appropriate supports. They're all really big to do items when it comes to housing, education, health and employment. We want to ensure that opportunities exist for our community members, but to make sure that they're meaningful. So that might mean that we provide those things ourselves or we partner with others to do that. And we want to raise the profile of the community so that their needs are considered in all aspects of life on the island. How is the charity funded? Manx Mencap is funded by donations, bequests and fundraisers. Um, generous funding from the Manx Lottery Trust has also meant we can offer year-round programming for children and school holiday activity schemes. Expedition Limitless, who are currently on their expedition of the Yukon River, have also been instrumental in their work for us and they've surpassed their £100,000 fundraising target for us, which is incredible. How can people support you? Uh, people can follow our Facebook page to stay informed of the work we do. Uh, they can share our Facebook posts to help raise awareness of our charity and the community we support. And they could donate to our Just Giving page, which is justgiving.com forward slash Manx Mencap. Where can people find out more? You can go to our website, manxmencap.im, or follow our Facebook page, which is really active. The Charity of the Week. Profile complete.